At tight end from Michigan, number 81, Zach Gentry. What can 6'12 do? He can ramble, baby. He play action fakes, dumps a little screen pass to the right, and that is Zach Gentry, all 6 feet 12, on his way, 25, 20, 15, 10. Zach, the, uh, you guys ran the football a lot in the second half. That meant more playing time for you. Uh, I'm sure you welcomed that. Uh, you also got to get some catches down the stretch as well. Did they need to come up with a Muth-like chant for when you catch the football? Oh, man. <laughs> and what would it be? <laughs> you know, I don't know. They're a little, little few and far between compared to Pats, so I don't know if they need to focus on that. I kind of like to hear them say Muth when I catch the ball because I'm hearing a little noise, you know. It gets, <laughs> gets the crowd involved, so I'm okay with that. I don't know if... Uh, I don't have a very Muth-like name they can, they can play with either. <laughs> Speaking of that running game, obviously there was a, a mentality there and you helped develop that. Is that something you take pride in, the, the, the fact that you guys were able not just to say we're going to run the ball more, but to run the ball more and effectively? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think we had one of the more efficient uh, running offenses um, in the National Football League second half of the year. and. Um, I know that our, our entire offense really took pride in that from the offensive line, tight ends, receivers, downfield blocking, um, sustaining their blocks too. So to see the way that progressed throughout the year um, with the maturation of our team and, you know, it was something that we needed to happen. You know, it, it was kind of what I think ultimately sparked our offense to, to move the ball a lot better. You just finished year four here. How do you feel like you've grown, not just from physically wise, but, but just as a, as a player, a person in those four years? Ah, uh, man, uh, it's hard to believe it's already been four years, you know. Um, I, I spent more time here than I spent at Michigan already, which is which is crazy to think about. But, yeah, I just, just grew up a lot uh, as a player, as a person. Um, there's a lot of people in that locker room that, that I've encountered and been around over the last four years that have really um, helped develop me into a, a more complete player, you know, from the guys that took me under their wing when I first got here to the guys that I'm with right now and um, a lot of the veteran leadership that kind of set the standard and showed me how to conduct myself as a person off the field and, and, and in the meeting rooms and in the, uh, you know, upstairs. So just a, a lot of maturation both, um, you know, as a person and, and on the football field. For the Steelers, thanks to scoreboard help today, playoff hopes alive and flickering. They're still alive, baby, and that's what it takes. Play for the buddy next to you. Make sure you dominate this game, man. Effort and energy, y'all. Let's eat on three. One, two, three. Let's eat. I know Mike Tomlin doesn't like to say one season can carry over to the next, but it seems like a lot of the players feel like how you guys finish this season can carry over to next year. I agree. Um, it, it's hard not to think about that. I think one of the more disappointing things this entire year is feeling like we're a team that's peaking, you know, at the right time and then just, just barely missing out on, on making the postseason. I think that uh, we're a team that felt like if we, you know, we're given an opportunity that we could uh, make some splash because of the way we were meshing together. So, you know, it, it feels like the future's bright and it feels like it should be something we should be able to take in the next season. In terms of the, the relationship that you've developed with Pat, I mean, obviously guys in, who work together in the same room, at the same position, get close. It, it, does your relationship go even beyond that? I mean, it, it, it's, it seems like you guys are almost like brothers. Yeah, we're close. I mean, there's, there's, that's, we're absolutely close and, and it translates on the field, off the field, and so it's always good to have such a good friend and such a good confidant like that that uh, you can kind of share the workspace with. Someday maybe you get a chance to throw him a pass in a game. <laughs> <laughs> we've, been, we've, been trying to, we've been trying to vouch for that for, for forever, so hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll be here next year and we can do that. So if people don't know, you were a highly touted quarterback going to Michigan. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so I'll have to uh, knock the dust off the old cannon and, and throw him one. That'd be great. <laughs> Put that trick play. You don't see too many tight end passes. In no, no. Yeah, we need to uh, figure out how to get me uh, like a tight end screen double pass or something. There you go. <laughs> yeah, you, you could suggest that to the coaches. Yeah, staff. absolutely. <laughs> hey, yeah, con congratulations on a, Thank you. another year in the books, and uh, hopefully we do see you back. Yeah, I hope so. I appreciate it.